from Jack Sculler. I got a bunch of questions here from the Hollywood Stalker that I'm going to answer for you. Alright, number one. How did it feel that you were part of Radio Disney's NBT? That, it was a really... I learned a lot from that experience. You know, it was my first U.S. tour. I'd never toured the country like that before. And I'd never been to so many cities. I got a lot of exposure, met a lot of great people, and gained some great new fans. Um, the whole thing was incredible, really. Um, when you were in L.A., um, yeah, when I, when I was in L.A., I, I got to meet some great people. Um, Ross Lynch and Laura Morano from Austin and Alley, they're so sweet, and Cher Lloyd is a really, really cool person. Um, and all the Radio Disney affiliates across the country were great. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I met a single bad person in the process. What are the things you do before going on stage to perform? Well, I always warm up my voice, and uh, I keep my beads that my little sister uh, made for me for as a good luck charm and um, I don't know I just I've been doing it for long enough now I feel it's just like second nature you know um, I love doing it I live that's what I live for at what age did you start singing and uh, do you write your own songs if so at what age did you start writing I started singing and writing I think around the same time when I was eight years old and my first song was, I wrote, was after my grandfather died. And uh, I started writing, I, I was maturing a little bit more. Uh, I wrote Love as a Drum. Um, yeah, but I, I was always so exposed to music and I, it just seemed like the natural thing that I should, should be doing. Um, what made you feel that singing is what you want to do? Well, like I said, yeah, I've always been around it. My dad is a musician for over 30 years, and I always watched him and studied him. I studied a lot of, like, you know, like the Beatles and, and Elvis Presley, and, uh, and just all these innovators of rock and roll, and that's what in influenced me so much, and uh, I just knew I had to do it. <laughs> uh, who do you... Who do you look up to when it comes to music? Right, uh, my dad, um, and my, my other heroes from 50s and, and the 60s, uh, the Beatles, Eddie Cochran, the, the Everly Brothers, the Stones, the Kinks, all those guys uh, that influenced me so much. Um, what, in, what other instruments can you play besides the guitar, and when did you start learning how to play the guitar? Um, so basically, when I was eight years old, and I started singing and uh, started writing, I couldn't play it. Well, I could play a little piano, but after a while, I, you know, I couldn't. I was just singing to karaoke tracks, and I couldn't really accompany myself. So playing the guitar was something that really appealed to me, and uh, I started playing guitar at like age ten, and on uh, with a computer software, and then I taught myself the rest, and. Um, I also play yeah, piano, bass, drums, and a little harmonica, which sometimes I incorporate into the set while I'm playing guitar, which is always really fun to do. What are your future plans uh, as a singer? Um, okay, so what's really exciting for me is that I'm getting back into the studio in February, gonna record some new songs, and um, I'm really, really, really excited to see how that turns out. I think it's gonna be great. Um, I'm really happy about these songs that we're going in with, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just you know always writing, always writing new material, and just playing new, sh playing more shows. <clears throat> you recently released the music video for your song S U R E. Can you tell us a little bit about the video? That was really fun to make. Um, the director Kevin Napier uh, found a spot. For, for me to go, and he, he and some other people, we, we brought some props in, um, like, you know, the typewriter, the, the candle, um, and all these things to make, make it look like I was in some really, really old time, and, uh, 
it was, I, I felt uh, reju rejuvenated <laughs> during that shoot. I, it was just, uh, I felt like a spirit almost, just the way we did everything. And, um, you know, there's just, there was just one spotlight in this, in this basement that was on me. And we shot there all day long, but, you know, it wasn't even that bad. It wasn't very tiring at all. We all had fun doing it. And um, I love the way it turned out. Kevin did a great job of directing. Um, do you have any extraordinary talents? <laughs> my, uh, my grandfather is a magician, and um, he's taught me quite a few of his tricks, so I like to pull them out at dinners sometimes, a lot of card tricks, uh, <laughs> and, and a few other things. I can, I can bend a penny with two fingers. Um, what do you like to do on your, on your spare time? I don't have any spare time. <laughs> I don't know. It's, um, especially lately, just, I, I love music and a lot of work goes into it and it, you know, has to kind of take over your life. Um, do you have any, uh, message to your fans? What I'd like to say to all those people out there that have been supporting me is, just thank you so much uh, for bringing me to this point, for coming with me along this journey, um, and for, you know, you, you've given me the confidence and the strength to keep going, really. Uh, you've furthered my assurance in myself, and, you know, it, it's just great to know that there's people out there that are listening to me and that, that appreciate what I do, and that means so much to me. Um, so yeah, you can you can all find me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Jack Sculler. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter, at Jack Sculler. My website is jacksculler.com, and you can find the links to all these sites there. Or find me on YouTube, channel is Jack Sculler. You can also see the Shore video there. <clears throat> yeah, you can, I think I... I have all the most popular sites covered. <clears throat> and yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Hollywood Stalker. Hi, I'm Jack Sculler, and I just got stalked by the Hollywood Stalker. <laughs>